The IMF is forecasting the world economy to contract by 3 per cent this year. In contrast, during the GFC, the global economy shrank by just 0.1 per cent in 2009. China's GDP fell in the March quarter by 9.8 per cent, their first quarterly fall on record. Italy, France and Spain all experienced their largest quarterly falls on record. In the United States, 33 million jobless claims have been made in the last seven weeks, with an unemployment rate rising to 14.7 per cent. In Australia, Treasury is forecasting GDP to fall by over 10 per cent in the June quarter, which would represent our biggest fall on record. At $50 billion, this is a loss equivalent to the total quarterly production of South Australia, Tasmania, the Northern Territory and the ACT. Treasury is forecasting the unemployment rate to reach around 10 per cent or 1.4 million unemployed in the June quarter. The five percentage point increase in the unemployment rate is expected to occur over three months compared to the three years it took the unemployment rate to rise by the same amount in that devastating period of the early 1990s. Household consumption and business and dwelling investment <coughs> are all forecast by Treasury to fall sharply in the June quarter. The combination of social distancing, lower incomes and increased uncertainty are weighing heavily on aggregate demand and flowing through to reduced cash flow. Household consumption is expected to be around 16 per cent lower. Business investment is expected to be around 18 per cent lower, with falls concentrated in the non-mining sector. Dwelling investment is also expected to be around 18 per cent lower. Over the same period, household savings are expected to increase as a result of the restrictions that have been imposed and an understandably cautious approach by households to discretionary spending. Overall, the economic data has been sobering. In March, business and consumer confidence saw the largest declines on record. The ASX 200 lost more than a third of its value in just over four weeks. In April, surveys showed that job ads halved and activity in the construction, manufacturing and the services sector had their largest ever monthly falls. New motor vehicle sales fell by 48 per cent through the year, their largest ever fall. House sales fell by 40 per cent. Domestic and international air travel is down by more than 97 per cent, with nearly 40,000 passengers moving through Brisbane Airport on Easter Sunday last year, compared to just 31 passengers this year. Against this backdrop, between the 14th of March and the 18th of April, the number of jobs decreased by 7.5 per cent, and the wages bill paid by businesses decreased by 8.2 per cent. During this period, accommodation and food services saw the largest fall in jobs at 33.4 per cent, followed by the arts and recreation sector at 27 per cent. The scale of the economic shock is hitting the budget bottom line. The monthly financial statements for March provide the most recent report on the budget position. To the end of March, the underlying cash deficit was $22.4 billion, $9.9 billion higher than forecast in my EFO. 
tax receipts were $11.3 billion lower than forecast in my EFO. While payments to the end of March were still $1.4 billion lower than in the MIEFO profile, this will change from the next statement onwards as the measures we have implemented continue to ramp up. Since MIEFO, the total face value of Australian government securities on issue has increased by more than $50 billion from $560 billion to $618 billion as of the 8th of May 2020. 